I was getting ready to go to New York to do the shoe thing. And um, watch cable TV for those two months that I was there just chilling. So the, cause the guy told me, say, yo, come in October. So for about two months, I said, well, I'm going to go home and just chill for a minute. Watch cable TV. And uh, it was almost five years in the making where the only thing I vision was the sisters. And then all of a sudden, I started getting aroused to what I was seeing, what, what, what I was seeing on the TV. So we're talking about a form of mind control. Mm -hmm. that says that the standard of beauty is the European paradigm. You see, and, and so a lot of this stuff is not that they, 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 it's a lot of this stuff is just straight up, they are, it's straight up attraction. Now, anytime you hang around anything long enough, you will develop feelings for it. But they initially didn't go after these particular uh, 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 people based on, um, based on um, um, a, 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 a love or a certain spirituality, they went based on attraction. Let's get this thing straight. And a lot of this has to do with the mind control of the media. And it's very heavy. So it, 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 let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. um, right now, um, the majority of the people, and when it comes to the black woman selling products, if they're going to sell products on commercials, they're going to make sure she's heavy set. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with no heavy set sister. Right. You see what I'm saying? The black woman is the only one in, in the world can get away with being fat and still, you see what I'm saying, looked on as cute or what have you. The point I'm trying to make here is, but when they purposely, they have a, when they have these commercials, they have a casting call of thousands, believe it or not, just for commercials. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they can't find, and, it, and, and believe me, um, where, uh, if you, have you ever been out to California? Uh, once, yes. You go to L.A., and you could just pull up at a gas station or pull up at a chicken shack, and you will see a model. you be like, oh, my God, look at this beautiful sister. And the brothers say, man, they get off the bus every day coming to be movie stars mm. and end up working at the gas station. I mean, it's just literally. So, don't, so when they have these casting calls, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They, it's not as if that the only thing showed up was the heavyset sisters. You see, the point I'm trying to make here is the society rules based on a European paradigm that said it makes your woman the standard of beauty. You see what I'm saying? And this stuff is in the subconscious mind because, believe me, a, a, people in America are not sophisticated to recognize stuff spiritual. Most of them are religious. So when they do these things and stuff, they're doing this stuff based on straight-up attraction. You see, straight up attraction, and so these things have a psychological thing to deal with stuff, and so we could get to the basis of it. But they might throw up with spiritual, and I fell in love. But they didn't originally when they stepped to that sister in that club or in that boardroom. It's because they were attracted to them. You see, that's that's one reason why you say what you want about the Obama thing, for the mere fact that Michelle, you see what I'm saying, is not prototypically blonde a light skin, has a lot to say about something. Not yeah. saying that light skin ain't beautiful, because we produce all that, but my point here is there's got to be a change on the paradigm structure. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's one of my takes on it, is mm -hmm. these people are not that spiritual. Most of them are religious. You see, they just it's just lust and attraction based on a mindset that they've been given, um, given to... Um, by the main media that controls the thoughts of the people and all this. We must not rule out that we have this, this mind control going on 24 hours a day. Well, I definitely agree with you, Mr. Hemet. Uh, you know, yeah. when, when you go uh, see a movie and you would, with Beyonce in it or Halle Berry, mm -hmm. right. very rarely do they have a black love interest. You know, in exactly, their high-profile exactly. movies. Uh, exactly. Also okay. with Will Smith. You know, rarely does Will Smith have a black woman as his side, you know, even if it's not a love interest, just being friends, you know, it's always, you know, someone other than an African-American woman. It's, it's a heavy promotion for us to uh, hook up with them, but on the flip side, you never see the high-profile, you know, a blonde white woman being opposite a black man. Well, see, you know, I, I, they, see, we will say this. Well, people say, now, you all, you know, you're looking at this a little racist. Right. Uh, people do what they want to do. But my point here is this. 
Can you name? You can count them out of Hollywood white stars on one hand who are married to black people. So my point here is, if it's if, if we're looking at this thing and saying that, uh, oh well, you know, this is just you just you just being racist, then you must ask the question: Is what is good for the goose is good for the gander? Why is it that we don't see Tom Cruise and the rest of these people? Even when they decide they want to get an arm piece because they're into all other kind of thing, they still get that white girl. And, 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 and guess what? We don't, question them, we don't question them as being racist because they only want to be what their species have. You see what I'm saying? It's only questioning when the thing comes up when it comes to black people. My point here right now, if George Clooney went out and got him a beautiful white girl, and it's based on the standard of beauty or what they might think the European beauty is, no one would ever question that as saying he's being racist because he didn't marry a black woman. You understand what I'm saying? Because they set the standard. You see what I'm saying? So here comes again, by you setting the standard based on Hollywood, you're still setting the standard based on mind control. You see what I'm saying? Mind control. And, and so some people will go, you know, I think you're reading enough into you reading a lot into this. No. Believe me, your children's minds, you see what I'm saying, is very vulnerable and can be destroyed in a minute. Right. You see, based on image. Mm. Now, let's not be funny with this mess. These people study the image, you see, and I say this about Barack Obama. If he never does anything for you as a president, he's already done a thousand years of image analysis and recorrecting, you see what I'm saying, breaking that paradigm of mind control. Wow. Just by having them two little black girls there, you see what I'm saying, right. and an array of different ranges of colors. Uh, if, if there's nothing else, that is powerful, and not only that's even powerful for white people to see. White people is looking at it and going, man, I'm glad for a change. You see what I'm saying? Right. You see, because no matter how rigid the rules are, every now and then something needs change. And that's how people start to think on a whole nother level. So um, that's my take on it. Um, that's, my take, that's my take on it, um, you know, as far as that. Mm -hmm. uh, and see, my point here is this. If I see a white guy walking down the street with a black woman or uh, uh, a black woman or uh, a black I don't really get upset. I'm like, look. Man, people do what they want to do. You can't dictate what a person's going to do. I only talked about that in reference to Hollywood stars who have a responsibility and an effect on other people. That's what I'm coming from, you see. I don't even get into the interracial thing. I'm on cool. Whatever floats your boat, fine. That's, that, that's, that's, that's not important. But what is important is if every last one, if every last one of our icons, you see what I'm saying, Right. is doing it, then it's affected when the white icons are not doing it. And that's all I'm trying to say. We're just talking about some balance here. Right. You see, yeah. That makes sense. All yeah. right. Let me go ahead and get the next caller. Caller from area code 216 and prefix 324. You are live in the remix. Tell us who you are and where you're calling from. What up, what up? This is Darnell calling from Cleveland. All right. Mm -hmm. Greetings, Darnell. Right. Welcome to the forum. You had a question or a comment for Bobby? Two both. Um, I want to thank you for the work you're doing. Mom um, on the line. Everybody listening. But anyway, the point I wanted to make is that um, spirituality, how it is rising in a sense, just from my own take, did a couple of rituals. Two of them. One was a uh, bear zombie in a fucked up, excuse me, in a messed up relationship. In three days, the whole situation changed. Mm -hmm. Real reason why the girl left. We ended up talking. She said, man, the damn doors are slamming through the house. We was going through our whole thing. The second thing I wanted to say, I did another one. Um, I did Lelis, but I know that's some stuff they took, Asira and Tara. Mm -hmm. I, was, I, was feeling, I was feeling the people's spirituality in that country because I know it's really against black people. And in three days, you know, they seized, but I know that's all government politics. But the point I wanted to make, I wanted um, a lot of the women I meet now in my age group, from 83, you know, with the extra generation, is that they either been raped, molested, mm -hmm. it's like that. You know what I mean? And the, another funny thing, I know asking this as far as on a feminine aspect, because I feel like, you know, the mother or the more loving aspect coming back to the planet, went to a club, 
And all the dudes was on the damn wall. And all the women came on stage and started dancing with each other. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, so what's the ultimate point? The point I wanted to make was, as far as on spirituality, how do I, let's say, and I see people where they at, you know what I'm saying? But me finding myself and my spirituality, which I am, in a sense, but talking to women and not looking at them as, they're not as spiritual as I am. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't look at it like that no more. I kind of look at it like I'm trying to well, cross that group. This, this is what you do. The first thing you do is is you deal with a little bit of humility, and the answers will come. You see what I'm saying? So this the uh, the, the the knowledge is not supposed to um, make you arrogant or anything like that. But I do believe that you still just keep studying and. Use and what you need to do is work on being the purest of heart. Work on being the purest of heart, and it'll balance itself out. So go with any of these systems and stuff. You don't have to go to Haiti to get it. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you don't have to go to Haiti to get it. Um, but what you need to do is, is if you do it with a sincere heart, with it, all of that stuff will work out. You see it? You know. It, it, it will work out. But right now you're on the right path because, because your science and your knowledge, your knowledge is the magic. That was our technology. That's why I don't believe that I got to go to another asshole to tell me to give me some technology when we can do it ourselves. You see what I'm saying? When we, when we can do it ourselves. You know, I'm really against this now, these so-called buffoons out here taking your money. You see, and scaring you up. You see what I'm saying? And they ain't got no power. They, they don't have no power. You can tell me some damn Nigerian got some doggone power. You see what I'm saying? They can't even get on the doggone, they, they can't even get on top of their own oil that the white man is pumping up out of the ground. They got the most expensive oil in the world in Nigeria. You see what I'm saying? And they just as poor as we are and can't get on top of nothing and... And Yoruba Ifa ain't doing the trick. Because all Ifa want is some blood and some coconuts or what have you, but they're not going to give these doggone Negroes that doggone all feel. You see. No Ebo, no Far, no none of that. So let's get out of that. We start using this stuff for your own personal, your own personal um, dealings. You see what I'm saying? And you ain't got to get up no $5,000. You see what I'm saying? To get initiated with these doggone buffoons out here, and every every time you look around, you gotta, you see, um, you gotta come up off money. You see what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to make here is, uh, is if you if you deal with the studying, all you have to do is keep a pure heart about it, and that's the way this stuff lines up. When you radiate from the heart chakra, you see what I'm saying? Uh, radiate from the heart chakra. So one of one of I, one of my aspects and one of my goals was where I'm successful with it is my sincerity. But I'm not using it for arterial motives. You see them ar arterial motives. So um, you're on the right path as it is right now, but you just got to deal with the heart. I cannot give you a philosophy that's going to make you um, deal with uh, uh, make things right with what you're dealing with the women. It's, you have to deal with it from your heart. You see what I'm saying? From your heart. And the spirit will let you know who's on the up and up. And yeah. if they ain't on the up and up, if you're dealing with your heart, they'll take them away from you. You see? And this goes with male and female. If you're dealing from the heart chakra and dealing with sincerity, then no other human being can overpower you and lead you down the wrong path. You see? Right. So, uh, yes. Yeah. So deal with it from the heart chakra. You see, there's a book called Enlivening the Chakra of the Heart. And it's still in print. I, don't, I can't think of the person's name, but you only need the, um, the, the title, Enlivening the Chakra of the Heart, you see, uh, uh, when you're dealing with the heart chakra. And that's, that's the guide. That's what the ancient Egyptians, with the scarab, the heart was the most important, uh, uh, most important thing that is, which, when you're dealing with things. So, yeah. So give me some more questions. All right. Caller from area code 347. Please tell us who you are and where you're calling from. This is Brother Heru from the Bronx, and I want to say greetings to you, Senti Blue, 
And I wanted to also give a special thanks to 